Today, I built a self-driving taxi system with a fleet of cars autonomously picking up and dropping off passengers. They do this while never ever crashing into each other. Alright, so we're trying it. We're trying to make the robo-taxi today. We're doing the, the self-driving taxi that'll take you from point A to point B. And this is actually extremely daunting because it's like, I'm, I'm not sure how... I've tried this before and I've failed at it. But maybe with my newfound knowledge of the different uh, mathematical functions of of the of the but uh, we're just making your standard american road over here white line over there and then the double yellow in the middle i don't know how wide i want the uh road to be just yet make a nice road yeah nice and wide let's let's make the base out of plastic as you do and then wedges they do have plastic wedges my only thing though they have weird borders around them. Why are they doing that? But basically what I want right off the bat, this we want a sensor, a sensor that's like What we're trying to do right now is create the uh, stabilization feature where it just stays in its lane, right? Okay, so now this is 25. Negative 25. It's that way. Perfect. It's working. Because we got to try and keep a low profile of the car. Suppose we turn this on, this will be the, the lane assist mode. And why might you not be working? Oh, because you're attached to nothing. This is uh, what we call a feedback loop. It's very common in the business. And how do we deal with it? We leave a margin for error. Because this is too exact, right? 300, that's double the speed. Oh my god, that could be too fast. No, it's good. It's perfect. We have to make a crosswalk, right? A zebra crossing. We have a stop line as well, so that would be like here. So once the car sees the dingus, right? It should stop. All right, so I've taught it to stop at the stop line here using this sensor here. Um, it's very abrupt, but uh, there it stops at the stop line. And all right, so we have this and now we're gonna do the intersection. If we stop here and then this is our viewpoint of the intersection and a left turn, we'd have to go over here. How do we make sure that nobody's gonna ram into us? What I have happening is that once one car rolls up to the stop here, if one is already waiting to go, it'll wait for it to go before proceeding. But if it gets to the stop before the other one, it should go first because it was there first. And that's kind of, we don't even need any stop signs or even like a traffic light system if it's like this, right? Basically, the cars will have an array of sensors on the front scanning for any vehicles in the perpendicular lanes. If it arrives to the stop line before the other cars, it'll proceed through the intersection. But if if it stops while a car has already been waiting, it'll wait until the intersection clears before it moves forward. Let's go. It worked. Hey, I'm here by the way. I want to cross the street and now it'll let me. Oh my god, it's gonna run me over. Hey, I'm turning left. This is gonna be what's, what triggers it. If this is greater than 20... Not quite. It'll just start it like immediately. There we go. And that's my left turn. Whoa, wait. And then, and then we just, we just start the, the, I just did a left turn. Ain't that wild. This one will shut off the left turn. So what I've done here is I've, I've been working on this for quite a while and I've established um, a left turn and a right turn. First, before we pull up to an intersection, uh, it has to decide whether it wants to go left, right, or straight. So let's do an unprotected left turn here. So that's on. So this is going to turn left and now it's going to use these uh, smart sensors over here. They basically just see distances of different things. So it's wanting to look at the curb here and it's going to track the curb as it goes along its route so then you go forward and uh okay it stops and checks nothing's there and now it's doing its left turn incredible so what i actually had to do for the right turn here it has to uh move its back wheels to make that tight turning radius and it goes this way 
and it makes it. Okay, so here's another scenario that I accounted for. If a car pulls up to here, while this guy is already turning, but it's, it's parked here and it's waiting for this guy to clear the intersection, it's blocking the view of the curb, and this car needs to see the curb to like complete its left turn, but how will it do that? What I have here is a system that detects when a car is parked here based on um, this little distance sensor. It will see that car parked there and it will change the tolerance of this sensor here. This sensor is what tracks that curb over there and helps it during the left turn. You have to downgrade this if a car is there so it doesn't smash into the curb. Once it detects a car over there, it'll basically use the car as a point of reference instead of the curb. Let's just say this car pulled up as we were already waiting and now we're going. And it does it. Not a problem at all. I've added these little function blocks that activate well, once these sensors up front detect that there's something in front of them, and that it should cut power to the engines and have it stop until the obstacle has cleared the way. If I back up, vroom. Auto brake. So this is like the safest car on the planet now, and it's incapable of ever crashing, so I think that's good. That's how it is. Okay, but do it vanilla! Huh? What? You heard me. Make it for real. Wh Quit make what with for these real? Mods, I tell you, you. Mean, with these mods, it's like women doing nothing. I need, I need the mods. For you, I need, and you can, ain't you even can you please listen? I need the mods to make the car. No, There's no, no I don't other way. Okay. Let me tell you See what. what these mods make it easy. What are you doing? This, this is what happens, Stanley. <laughs> See, the, you get what's coming. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, well, back to business, I guess, right? What we have here is a tracker thing. It'll track like a tracker of whichever number tracker, I guess, is around the world. This is tracker two. And now that thing on top is looking at it. So with this system, we should be able to uh, have it know what turns to make, basically. Come over. I'm hailing a cab. Cool. This little loop over here, and basically this is the depot. This is like where cars go when they're not on a call. If our call thing is zero, right? It's just gonna hang around here. And this is what it defaults to when it, uh, when all other calls have been completed. And basically it's just gonna take this series of right turns around this tracker here. And this is kind of where it just like dilly dallies until it needs a, uh, a call. Okay, we get a call for the green stop. Okay, so now it'll make its way out of the depot. So now instead of taking a right, it should take a left. Exactly. Perfect. Oops, gotta cross the road real quick, my bad bro. It stopped for me. Good, it didn't kill me. Oh, I'm in the road again, by the way. Making its way to this stop right here to pick up its passenger. And now, once the timer's up, we're gonna have like an automatic door in here. Once the timer's up, it's leaving. Now that it's uh, picked up its passenger, it's going to automatically go back to the depot, unless the passenger picks something else. The Monkey Tick Robo Taxi is a state-of-the-art transport solution. The luxury cabin provides the utmost comfort for your journey. Boasting a wide fleet of vehicles, we are ready to take you where you need to go on time. Our current service area contains six destinations, but we are working to expand this to seven. With the click of a button, an available cab is called. It autonomously navigates the streets, taking the quickest route to pick you up. And in no time at all, your noble chariot arrives. You are presented with a series of easy to read colored buttons. Simply press, sit back, and enjoy the ride. A vast array of front and side mounted sensors ensure a safe ride. Here you can see various examples of vehicle and pedestrian detection in action.
this scenario, this young man has been partying hard at the bar. He stumbles out and realizes he is in no room to drive due to his inebriation. Fear not, for we have you covered. He simply presses the call button and waits a short while before his taxi arrives. He is happy to see that he can safely make it home. There really is no better ride. Our advanced centered technology allows the vehicle to drive in any lighting conditions, ensuring a safe journey throughout. The comfort of the drive is unmatched. It's quite the- Oh my god, holy shit!